Hello you guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm so happy that you are here and I'm excited to be doing another fashion type of video today. When I uploaded my winter capsule wardrobe, you guys seem to really, really love that, um, which is awesome. And I've been meaning and wanting to do some more fashion style related videos. I am planning on doing a full summer capsule wardrobe, which will probably be 25 to 30 pieces um, for the summer. And that should be coming soon. But I am waiting to find a couple more pieces Pieces to finish off um, my summer capsule wardrobes and so for spring I thought it would be fun to challenge myself and do the 10 by 10 challenge which is 10 items of clothing then you make 10 outfits from those 10 items I believe the original creator of the 10 by 10 challenge is a woman called Lee and she is from the stylebee.ca I will leave the link to her blog down below it's really awesome she documents her process of building the these 10 item capsule wardrobes and she kind of runs you through what items to pick, what categories to choose from and yeah it's super helpful whether you want to do a 10 item capsule wardrobe or even maybe a 30 item capsule wardrobe. I find a lot of inspiration from her pieces and just seeing how and why she chooses the pieces she does and how she styles them. I have picked out 10 items for springtime. One thing as I was creating this that I thought about is I thought this would be actually really awesome for traveling. If you're someone that travels and you know, maybe you just wanna take your carry-on or you just have a backpack and so you don't have space for a ton of clothes, this I think is a great way to pack for a trip. So you are minimizing the amount of items that you're bringing, but you're maximizing the amount of outfits and the potential that they have. So if you go on to stylebee.ca, you can see how she lays out her 10 item wardrobes, which is what I use as a reference for this. So I'll put that on the screen right here so you can see. So what she recommends is the beginner's formula is two pairs of shoes, four tops, so this includes sweaters, cardigans, blouses, t-shirts, one dress, two bottom, and one top layer, such as a jacket of some sort. Now I took this and I kind of switched it up a little bit, but I think that's a really good place to start. And I should also add that accessories are not included in the 10 items. And so you can use things like hats and scarves and jewelry to really change up your outfit and to change up the feel and so yeah I thought I would take you through each different piece and at the end I will show you guys the 10 different outfits that I put together for this video all right so first up we have this skirt I don't know if the color will pick up on camera but it actually is a green color with some button details going down the front and then a slit, which I think is really flattering, especially with a midi length type of skirt. So as you can see, pretty much everything is neutral. And so I liked adding this little pop of green, which I still think is fairly neutral, um, but with the print, it adds something really fun. And then I chose two pairs of pants. One is this light wash pair of jeans. These are from Mango. They are high-waisted light wash jeans. They have some distressing in the knees and distressing on the bottom and they're just a very loose kind of boyfriend fit. These are some of my favorite jeans. Okay, the next item is a pair of white denim and this was on my list for this spring. I've been loving like white on white outfits and so I found these ones at H&M. They are great. I think they are like the perfect white pair of jeans. They're definitely more of an off-white which I really like and I've actually found it to be a lot more versatile pair it with creams and bright whites and everything kind of in between and so these are from H&M and they are the Vintage Slim High Waist Denim. They're really thick and so they're not see-through, which is always a challenge with white denim. Next item I chose was this cream color sweater, again from H&M. So because like I said, spring, the weather is kind of all over the place, I still wanted some type of sweater and this one's really nice because it's soft, but it's not overly thick. But I ended up going with two different tops. So the first is this oversized graphic t-shirt from H&M as well. And it's not totally black, it's more of a faded black or a charcoal. And I got this in the size large, so it is fairly oversized 
on me, but I really love the look of graphic tees mixed with some more feminine pieces. And yeah, I just think that they're super versatile. There's a lot of different ways you can style them. And I wanted to choose a top that was a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer. So it's been in my wardrobe for a while, so I don't know if you can get your hands on it, but I've seen lots of tops similar to this. It's just a really beautiful light linen-y fabric. And instead of going with a fourth top, like she suggests, I actually decided to go with two different jackets. Because it is springtime, a lot of times in the morning or on those cooler days, you do want to throw a jacket on with your outfit. And so I first chose a denim jacket. And this one is from Primark. And it's a pretty standard medium wash denim jacket. And then the second jacket that I chose was a black leather jacket and I love a good leather jacket because it can really give a pretty simple outfit a little bit of edge and add a little bit of interest and then I chose two different pair of shoes to finish off the capsule. The first are these slides or mules, um, whatever you want to call them. These are from Target. They're the universal thread line. I got these last year, so I don't know if you can still get them. I love mules. You can just slide them on. They look really cute, but they're super easy and comfortable to wear. And then last but not least, I chose a pair of black boots, which looking at them now, I need to wipe them off. And I wore these a ton this last winter, but I've also still been wearing them this spring especially on rainier days and cooler days you could also do like another pair of flats a pair of white sneakers I think would be really cool but I do not have any so um, that's why I'm going for the boots all right I'm gonna go ahead and try on the 10 different outfits for you guys
today's video again if you liked it I would love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stick around for more content like this I would happily do more videos similar to this because it was really fun and it challenged me and it showed me just how versatile pieces can be and how many different outfits you can make from just 10 pieces I'm actually really surprised so I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well and that you guys are doing well and we will see you in the next one bye guys Cause you let it